Hey, what's up guys? My name is JC. Yes, I am Ron Strong. How I almost escaped the U.S. Marshal's custody. Let's get into this video. Grinding just as hard, get a year. Profit all this money and the flame will make the pain is disappear. Now I'm sitting here, just wipe away the tears. Dealing with the pain that's trapped inside. It's been there since we were kids. Yeah, grinding just as hard, yeah to yeah. Thought that all the money and the flame will make the pain is disappear. Now I'm sitting here, just wipe away the tears. Dealing with this pain that's trapped inside. It's been there since we were kids. Yeah. Thinking about the good old days. They wasn't good old days. Look what the hood done made. It brought out this old side of me. This pain is robbing me. I just want my joy back. Free my little brother Scotty. We just want our toys back. 19 years can't get back. Feels like you've been gone forever. Just like I said, I'm on a whole nother level Thought that we would do this together Thug life turned to drug life Drug life got the phone tap Her phone's right out the phone jack Man, I miss my home, man I'm so far from the old man My past is trying to hold me But God gon' break these old chains Chevy, it got no brain I'm staring at the stars Thank the Lord above I never thought I'd make this far This heart, it does got scars Wish that I could take them off Like these tattoos tell the truth Boy, I used to be bad news I miss Erica, I do Remember when we used to cruise Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Wrong Strong, JC's Chronicles. <laughs> I almost escaped from U.S. Marshal Cust in my crazy, crazy life. So they started to follow me. They started to, you know, try to see what I was doing. I really didn't talk on the phone much. All my business and everything was conducted in person and by walkie-talkie by radio it was the same silver truck that had been following me all day that day i picked up my my girlfriend and took her across town to the other side and the same truck again so as we're leaving the nail place i told her to put on her seatbelt and hold on i was about to you know try and, and run as many red lights as i could to try and see if he was following me and if he was, he'd lose it. You know, he, he wouldn't be able to follow me no more. So I did it and I, I thought I had lost him, but then we pulled into her, her hair appointment and it was on the other side of town and there goes that fucking truck again. I was surrounded by the marshals, the US marshals. I jumped out, started running. It was my first reaction. I, I look at law enforcement and I'm just, I'm gone. You know, that's how I just, I, I survived the most of my life. So I left, I started running and I got pretty far. I got pretty like a half a mile away. I was hiding in a sewer pipe. They brought the dogs, they found me, pulled me out. In that moment, when they were pulling me out of that tunnel, and I wrote about this on my book, for a minute I, I thought that thing was, was over because you know, I, w I was in, into my almost my 30s now, and but obviously I was still doing stuff that I shouldn't have been doing. I was still selling drugs. I was still doing a lot of bad shit. So, you know, uh, I thought pretty much that my life was over. So for a quick second, I thought maybe if I just raised my sunglasses that I had on my right hand, they would think it was a gun and they would, you know, shoot me and kill me. Suicide by a cop. That ran through my head. They ended up pulling me out. The dog was grabbing my leg, biting me. They cuffed me, put me in the truck. In my head, I had already came up with this fucking plan in my head. As crazy as, it's, as, as it sounds, I had already thought about how I was gonna escape. I told one of the marshals, hey, while I was in the pipe, I got bit by a black widow. He's like, how do you know? I was like, well, I killed it. When, as soon as it bit me, I felt it, and it bit me, I killed it. And it's hurting really bad and I don't feel good. I, I'm, I'm coming in and out of it. I'm sweating. I mean, it was all alive, but you know. So he's like, show me. That morning, I had just got my testosterone therapy shot from my doctor. So I had a lump and it was red right there. So he pulled my pants down and he seen it and they started to panic. You know, they started to panic that, you know, I was gonna get sick or, or die. Or they fucking, they rushed me to the hospital. Once I'm in the hospital, I'm playing it off at 110% that I'm sick, I'm shaky, I'm in pain, I don't know what to do. You know, I was completely 
I should have received an Oscar for that. Thank you, thank you, thank you for this award. I should have received an Oscar for that. I would have never thought that I would make it as a Chicano actor in this. I should have received an Oscar for that. Today in time, it's so hard to act Mexican. So I played it off to the fullest, right? So the doctor came and gave me pain meds, everything. So as soon as he gave me the pain meds, I actually pretended to fall asleep. My feet were shackled and my hands were shackled. I wasn't shackled to the bed. So I pretended to fall asleep. The US Marshal that was in the room left. We had already been there for a couple hours. You know, down well you get no fast service at the county hospital. I got up, I figured if I could get out the front door, my baby's mom's house was like two blocks, literally down the street. If I could just get there, I already had it in my head. You know, I was gonna head for the border. Once I got to Mexico, I was gonna travel into Brazil. And that's it. <laughs> so I start walking towards the door, right? And I got all the way to the fucking door. When the door opens, the sheriffs, with all the inmates from the county fucking prison, walking in. The sheriff grabs me and he's like, whose inmate is this? Oh, excuse me, excuse me, sir, I was just... The sheriff grabs me and he's like, whose inmate is this? So, I, was, I was sleepwalking. The sheriff grabs me and he's like, whose inmate is this? They're all coming under me, they're all coming under me, yeah, yeah. The U.S. Marshals come running up, they grab me, right? And I, I played it off to the fullest, you know, I, I played it off like I was still in pain, I was asleep because of the meds and I was looking for the bathroom. And they took me back to the room cuffed me to the fucking bed and that was it that was my little little flirt that I had with freedom escape and the rush of thinking of just maybe if I got away but as long as you're doing what's right every day or trying to do what's right you shouldn't have nothing to worry about man my name is JC I am wrong and strong don't judge nobody stay in your lane live savage and remember you only have one life to live. Live it out here. Free, drug free, not in prison, not doing nothing bad, but just getting yourself better for life. I'll check you guys on the next one.